Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be all about Korean sunscreens. And it's a bit of an interesting twist because usually when we talk about K-beauty sunscreens, we are almost always talking about chemical filters, specifically the chemical filters that are approved in Asia and Europe and not yet in the US. But today's video is different. We are going to be talking about K-beauty mineral sunscreens, asterisk for the most part. There is one chemical stick sunscreen in this video. And these are all by the brand Dewey Tree. Stylevana kindly sent over a set with six of these sunscreens for me to share with you all. And all six of these sunscreens are pretty different with some similarities. So the way I'm gonna lay out this video is to group two of them together at a time. We have two liquid sunscreens, we have two sticks, and we have two kind of more of foundation-like products. And since I suspect people kind of lean towards certain preferences, I'm going to include timestamps in the description box for the grouping. Some of these are brand new releases from Dewey Tree, so I will try to include links in the description box below, but since some are so new, I may not have those links just yet. I have a little bit of hair sticking to my face because I didn't powder enough in this video. Oh, I do want to mention one more thing. In a video about sunscreens and sun protection, do you know how underrated berets are? Nobody thinks of berets as sun protection because, you know, you typically picture those sun hats where it's got a wide brim so it covers your face. I don't worry as much about that because I wear sunscreen every day. What I do worry about is my hairline because I don't wear sunscreen in my hair. Do any of you wear sunscreen in your hair? And have you ever had a burn on your hairline? It is super not fun. So that is why I try to wear a hat every time I go out in the sun, every time. And the funny thing about berets is I swear people always just interpret it as a, a high fashion statement. They're never thinking that you are thinking about protecting your hairline. I also want to make sure to say we're going to call these mineral sunscreens. That's what the brand calls them. That's what that's what everybody would refer to these as, but I would say they're probably more of hybrids because they do include that booster ingredient, butyl octal salicylate. If you want more information about that, check out Lab Muffin's video. She has talked a lot about this ingredient. Now I think we can get into it, and I do want to start with the two liquid sunscreens. Let's talk about this one, which I think has been around for a while. This is called their Urban Shade Anti-Pollution Sun SPF 50 Plus PA 4 Plus Pink Calming Tone Up Mineral UV Filter. This one is using zinc oxide and titanium dioxide plus butyl octal salicylate as filters. It includes some calamine, which I actually really do like to use as an ingredient. It's very calming. It is by its very nature pink, so it gives this sunscreen a little bit of a pink color, but in terms of leaving a white cast, neither of these liquid sunscreens are too bad, and yet, worth mentioning, hard to say these would work for all skin tones. It seems like Dewey Tree includes essential oils in quite a few, not all, quite a few of these products. This is one that does have one essential oil, one that is typically less irritating for people, and that is rosemary oil. And listen, I will always be honest with you in all of my reviews that I do, I just have to tell you, this is pretty much my least favorite product in this whole video. <laughs> to me, this one has the strongest scent out of all the products in the video, the most white cast, and, and, this one pills. None of the other sunscreens in this video pill. I don't know why I'm having this problem with this sunscreen. But let's briefly talk about pilling. It's an important topic. You see a lot of people say things like I just did. This sunscreen pills. It's kind of an inaccurate statement because pilling typically doesn't really happen on its own. It can. Some products are made to pill on themselves. You know, a peeling gel. It's designed to pill. <laughs> so you get those exfoliating bits on your skin, but it, it shouldn't happen with a sunscreen, a, a moisturizer, and yet what can happen is if the ingredients in your moisturizer, your serum, your toner do not agree with your sunscreen, then you might have pilling. And this was happening every time I applied this, so I started looking through other reviews, and I can't see anybody else that had this same problem, so I don't know what's causing the pilling for me, I can tell you that I'm currently using a tier tier routine and something somewhere is just not agreeing with this. So altogether, it's my least favorite in the video. And yet, 
this one has the most reviews. But turning to the other liquid sunscreen option, this is a brand new release. It is called the Urban Shade Derma Panthenol 5 Moist Barrier Sun SPF 50 plus PA4 plus. Do you know this one is my favorite in the video? I'm wearing this one again today. This, I, I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. Let's talk about the ingredients first. I really thought I would like this less because in contrast to the first sunscreen, this one only has zinc oxide in the booster. And while I'm not opposed to zinc oxide, it is an astringent ingredient while titanium dioxide is not. So I kind of expected this to be more drying. But you see, Dewey Tree thought about that. They included 5% panthenol, it has vegan ceramide, allantoin, beta-sitosterol, which they are stressing is an ingredient used in burn creams. Beta-glucan, by the way, I, I should let you all know, both of these are free from niacinamide if you're one of the people that does deal with niacinamide sensitivity, and this one is also free from hyaluronic acid. This has a little bit of hyaluronic acid. This formula comes together to be, and I can't believe this, but a zinc oxide sunscreen that really does not feel drying. They are claiming that it feels moisturizing. I was over here thinking, no, it's not possible. How can you use an astringent ingredient at these higher levels, which you need to have high SPF coverage? How can you cancel that out? I guess Dewey Tree was determined to find a way. Again, this is such a new product that I had to do a bunch of translating from Korean, and I can see they are showing their studies where they actually demonstrate an increase in moisture in your skin after using this sunscreen. In all transparency, this one does feel a little heavy to me, which I think makes sense with all of these barrier-boosting ingredients, so I really don't like wearing this one alone, but it makes such a good primer. And while I did wear it with their tinted products, today I'm wearing it with, unsurprisingly, a tier tier product. It's so funny to be testing a brand that actually has foundation products. This one is also completely fragrance and essential oil free. This feels like in all senses, Dewey Tree designed this for sensitive skin. So I guess no wonder it's my favorite. <laughs> and a quick side note, I know I mentioned to you all that I was having a pretty bad breakout. It is funny how in the clips you are watching in this video, you will actually see that breakout disappear. I was using these sunscreens the whole time, so I'm happy to tell you, if anything, these helped my skin heal faster. Let's move on to talking about these stick sunscreens. They are quite different, so let's start with the one that is kind of more of your conventional K-Beauty sunscreen stick, the Urban Shade Cool Calming Sun Stick, SPF 50+, PA4+. This one is a fully chemical filter formula, so you are not going to get any kind of white cast from this. Where I've found sunscreen sticks to vary is that some really are, are hard to pull across my skin. There's a lot of tugging, and there's a, a rare handful of them that glide beautifully. This one, wow, it glides so well. So I was over here so excited when I first started applying this. I don't think I've ever had uh, as easy of a stick to glide on my skin from the get-go. Some of them warm up and then they're easier to glide across your skin. This was nothing from the start. However, I've talked a lot about how I like to wear sticks over makeup so I can get a bit of a touch-up of sunscreen. Hard to say if I'm fully hitting the SPF on the packaging, but I usually do this in the evening when the sun is lower. So what I did notice with this is, sadly, it did kind of disturb my makeup. I think because this one is so dewy, so moisturizing, it, it definitely moved my makeup around. But not just that, this one was so jarring to use because they say it has a cooling effect. And I looked at the ingredients and I didn't see, you know, menthol. And yet it does have a cooling effect, which just feels so odd to me. I definitely don't like cooling sensations. I don't like peppermint gum, peppermint toothpaste. We've talked about this before. <laughs> Can't stand it. Ple please do not ruin chocolate by putting mint in it. It's rude. <laughs> All right, some of you like it. You can have my chocolate mint. But yes, such a cooling sensation that for me, I realized 
this is just not optimal for my needs. Nonetheless, you know, I never stop with just my opinion. So I went digging in the reviews and I found quite a few people saying this is actually their favorite sunstick because of all of these characteristics, because it's so dewy, because it glides on so nicely. And some people like that cooling sensation and I bet they also eat chocolate mint ice cream. Now this one, which I believe is also another new release, this is the Urban Shade Peach Like Tone Up Sunstick. And this is really where in the video we're kind of turning to what feels to me like more in the direction of makeup, not makeup, but more in the direction of makeup. I'll elaborate in the next section because this is a tinted sunstick with a bit of a peach tone to it. To me, that reads as kind of a cool tone. That's what I've come to expect peach to mean. But I do have to say, this is a brilliant design. So you have a, br a brush on the other side, which is all well and good, but have we all been through the uh, situation of applying and then check this out. I did that in the most clumsy way possible. I'm trying to show you that the brush twists right off and then you can put it right back on. I do think it's a genius design. Now, unfortunately, undertones are very important. I'm at the point of thinking that these really light coverage products, it, it matters more to choose the right undertone than to worry about the depth of the color. Because again, when something is real light, you can just apply it lightly. So it's actually undertone that matters the most, whether you're warm or whether you are cool or neutral. I am more warm leaning. So in the application, you see where I did this all over my face, even though I applied it light, you can see the difference in my neck and my face. But your girl doesn't just give up. I thought I'd try it around my eye area. You know, with this being a primarily mineral sunscreen, it does have octanoxate, but primarily mineral, I thought maybe this is a good solution for around my eyes. Sometimes I do get sunscreen in my eyes and ooh, that is not, that is not fun. It really burns. And not only would I get uh, kind of more of a thicker texture, which might be less prone to getting in my eyes in the first place, but this peach color, while it's the wrong undertone, we often use it for color correcting dark circles. And I really like it in that way. Again, this will not be for everyone. This one has two forms of essential oils. The less irritating essential oils, but nonetheless, some people are not gonna wanna use that around your eyes and that's okay. And other people may also find that this works for you. This final category is what I am going to call foundation-like sunscreens. These are sunscreens for people who maybe don't want to wear makeup, but maybe you want just a little bit of color evening, tone evening, you know, these are far from full coverage foundations, but you are getting a tint. And because of that, I really wanna stress that the way I apply these and the way most people are going to apply these, while these are SPF 50 plus, PA 4 plus products, it is worth knowing that if you are not applying that full two finger length application, you are getting less SPF. But it is absolutely okay to apply your regular sunscreen in that full two finger length amount and then follow with a product like these. So let's go over these, starting with the Urban Shade Cover and Fit Sun SPF 50 Plus Tone Cover Perfect Skin Fit. I really want you all to know, I've tried a few products like this and I was impressed with the depth of the color here. Let me give you a swatch of this up against the Numbuzzin product. This is the Porcelain Base Skip Tone Up Beige. And here's Dewey Tree, Numbuzzin right here, Dewey Tree. I feel pleasantly surprised that Dewey Tree actually made a tone that I think might work for more people. This is another hit. This is fully non-drying because as you now know, at this point in the video, this does not contain zinc oxide. Instead, they are using titanium dioxide. And as we've talked about before with titanium dioxide, it used to kind of be an inferior filter, but there are newer technologies that have really boosted in particular the UVA protection from titanium dioxide. Not that it matters a ton because I don't recommend you rely on this type of product for your sun coverage. This one also contains Artemisia. That is an essential oil, but it's actually one of those essential oils, kind of more like tea tree oil where some people really look for it. And since this one is not drying, this wears 
really well. I actually feel like in the clip I'm showing you, I slightly over applied this, but it still managed to look really nice, probably because it's not too drying. And to just be blunt with you all, the Urban Shade Cover and Fit Sun Cushion is very similar to the liquid tint. You can even see this in the ingredients. It kind of feels like, well, which format do you want for your tinted product? Do you want a liquid or do you want a cushion? Same filters, same bit of niacinamide, same Artemisia oil in this. They're very, very similar, just in different formats. Unsurprisingly, I'm just as impressed with the cushion, and I will say, again, I think you can choose one or the other here. I, I guess you could get this for home application, this for touch-ups if you wanted to. But overall, really impressed that Dewey Tree did something different with those products. And my friends, that brings us to the end of today's video. As always, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you tried any of these? Are you thinking of trying any of these? Thank you to Stylevana and Dewey Tree for sending these products over. I will link everything in the description box below as well as my discount affiliate code. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you all next time.